Hey, it's Monday night, and once again, we're here for VoiceOver Body Shop. This is going to be an action-packed episode. It is. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. We've got a great guest. Debbie Derryberry is here. Mm-hmm. Plus, we have a live performance from her band, Honey Pig. On the stage. On the, st- on the VOBS stage. That's right. Where the VOBS concert series will be taking place. <laughs> uh, and we've got lots of stuff from Nam. Yeah, we got more stuff from Neumann, Apogee, and a few others, so... Stay tuned. All right. Coming right up on VoiceOver Body Shop. Two men, twin sons from different mothers, with a passion for voiceover recording technology and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere. Together, in one place. George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years experience in broadcasting and recording, and a no-holds-barred, myth-busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is. Together, to bring you all the latest technology, today's voiceover superstars, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business. This is VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products, Source Elements, makers of Source Connect, Source Connect Pro, and Source Connect Now, VO2Gogo.com, everything you need to become a successful voice artist, VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success, the VO Dojo, take your voiceover career all the way. J. Michael Collins Demos, when quality matters. And by VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your voice actor website shouldn't be a pain in the butt. And now, live from their super secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, yeah, baby. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels good. Congratulations to the <laughs> Iggles. <laughs> Iggles! Yeah. All apologies. Yes, Jack Jack is a big yeah, fan as well. Eagles. All right. He's from Philly. Yes, now. All apologies to Susan. So, right. The, the thing is, though, had the Patriots won, we still wouldn't have done anything about it. No, that's right. Because hate we'd the be Patriots. Like, yeah, Patriots. They yeah. Want well, it, you know, the Buffalo Bills Eastern Division. We had to play the Patriots twice a year. I, I unbelievable calls in those games. They were your Cowboys. They, See, that was us. That was us having to play the Cowboys they, twice a year. Exactly. And watching the calls exactly. go to the exactly. So I know exactly what you're talking. All about. right. Well, that's <laughs> pretty much what that was all about. But congratulations to them. And Philly, I guess, is still there, sort of. Yeah, some of it standing. <laughs> The Ritz Carlton, uh, uh, the Ritz Carlton overhang above the sidewalk collapsed under the weight of twenty revelers last night. I oh. saw that on TV. <laughs> Crazy people don't stand on a canvas-covered aluminum frame. <laughs> they were insane. I mean, we knew it was going to happen. Yeah, but really. People are people were literally crying. <laughs> they were talking about dead relatives and saying this was for you. I mean. Philly needed a win. <laughs> Philly needed a Super hey, Bowl it win. It happened so when bad. Boston won the World Series, too. It was People the same were crying kind of feeling. Too. Same Absolutely. Kind of well, by the way, I'm Dan Leonard. <laughs> I'm George Widow. And this is VoiceOver Body Shop. Or VO BS. We got a huge crowd here today. <laughs> I mean, literally a huge crowd. That's great. Yeah, um, because we've got Debbie Derryberry with us tonight. Yes, and we we're going to talk about some of the cool stuff that she does. Mm-hmm. And she's coaching now, too. So helping out people learn how to do character voices and nice. stuff like me. And you know from experience. I do. I do. And we'll talk about some of the stuff with that. But she also brought her band, Honey Pig. Honey Pig. And we're going to have a concert out on the VOBS concert stage <laughs> a little bit later on in the show. You do not want to miss that. Plus, we have lots and lots of stuff from Nam. Tons. Tons. And whatever we don't get to tonight... Come Next to week. The, go to the YouTube page it, later. It'll all be there. And yeah, you'll see Actually, it all. it's all there now, too. So yeah. anyway, it's now time for... All the information you need for a successful voiceover career.
All righty. You know, we'll talk about online casting here. It's been nearly six months since Voices.com, one of the big two voiceover online casting services, rocked the voiceover industry with the announcement that it was purchasing another online casting powerhouse, VoiceBank. If you've been locked in your studio all this time and missed the ensuing uproar, here's the quick backstory. Voices.com sends job auditions to voice talents who paid to join the service. For several years, it's been criticized by talent for holding on to huge fees for the jobs that are performed, plus other non-transparent business practices. Then last August, Voices revealed an impending purchase of VoiceBank, an online service that sent auditions to talent from their agents. The deal was seen as a greedy giant gobbling another giant with a business plan to combine the two operations and further erode voiceover pay. Okay, what's happened since? Has the online casting world imploded into the Voices Voice Bank sphere? Well, indeed, Voice Bank is no more. It's part of the Voices system. But rather than implode, the online casting scene is exploding outward with more players and more competition for the agency business that hadn't been in Voice Bank's domain. And this explosion has plenty of fuel, sustained by anger over the way Voices conducts business and by optimism for new models of connecting voice seekers to voice talent. In a new article on VoiceOver Extra, J. Michael Collins, a top voice talent coach and demo producer, says voice talent are indeed now influencing the modes of online casting. The world is waking up to the threat posed by certain pay-to-play discount casting sites, and talent are moving the needle of site conduct like never before, he writes. And he adds that supporting our agents, sag after and other brick-and-mortar players is essential. But we also take the battle to the front lines and ensure that online casting is run for the profit and benefit of everyone and not a greedy few. We storm the beaches today or tomorrow, the enemy will be even more entrenched. It's our choice. Today, all this is happening in various ways. Mike detailed the existing and emerging players and his experiences and impressions of them all in a recent VoiceOver Extra webinar. Two startups are... Cast Voices, launched by the founders of Tag Talent and A360, and Voice Casting Hub, supported by the VO Agent Alliance and meant to be a replacement for VoiceBank. Meanwhile, the Giants, of course, continue to be Voices.com and Voice123. On the second tier, in terms of quantity of auditions available, he places Bodalgo, our good friend Armin, and the Voice Realm. Next in what Collins dubs the minor leagues are Voice Bunny, Freelancer.com, Upwork, Craigslist, Mandy's Voices, Voice Jockeys, Internet Jocks, Speedy Spots, and on Skid Row, Fiverr.com. About which Collins says... While it's occasionally possible to book market rate work through add-ons on Fiverr, the stigma attached to using the site is so extreme that you're likely to cost yourself more revenue in the long run than you will earn by using the entire site. Mm. Listing services where voice talent pay to display their demos and profiles and then receive direct inquiries from voice seekers include commercialvoices.com, elearningvoices.com, voiceover.biz, a member benefit of voice, uh, World Voices, and hold on, there's more. Outliers with limited traffic include voiceoverprofessional.com, voicesus.com, and voiver.com. Voiver, yeah, okay. So, whenever the dust settles from last August's explosion, if it ever does, we might actually be thanking voices.com <laughs> for expanding the online casting universe. Look for more in J. Michael's article now at voiceoverextra.com. And if you're interested in details about specific online casting services, check out the online casting webinar recording, which you'll find on the voiceoverextra.com homepage in the training column on the left side of the page. Brilliant. All right. Boy, it's, it's been a storm. There's no question about it. That, uh, a storm it is. And the thing is, is people need to tell their clients what's going on. The second they hear what's going on, they can change their minds about who they want to use. That's Not right. mentioning any names, even yeah. though we just mentioned a pile of them in a news story. <laughs> anyway, I know. We definitely called out a lot of names in that one. We, didn't we? Well, <laughs> didn't we called they? out all the names. Yeah, it, seems, it seems that way. Yeah. Well, the online cat. And I, and I said from the beginning, this is an opportunity mm -hmm. because, you know, once they took over Voice Bank, it meant... Someone's going to come in, some smart entrepreneur. And we had Matt Dubois in here a couple of yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, wasn't there one called Voice Casting Bank? Voice Casting Hub. 
yeah, that went live, and hard. now we're getting auditions from stuff we never had access to before for really? much better money. And it's like fabulous. Really, it's happening. It it's actually really is happening. happening, and it's breaking the logjam. That's fantastic to hear. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Yep. So, if you got any questions, just ask. <laughs> we know the answers. So, nothing in tech, because we're going to be talking about what we saw at NAMM. Yes, we have a load of great product reviews. Not real reviews, previews or announcements, you should say, that came from NAMM. And so, we just want to make sure you guys would get a chance to see all those tonight. So, that's going to be our, our tech segment, which will be peppered throughout the show. All righty. Well, in that case... We're going to go watch some of that stuff, and we'll get right to it after this message. You're watching VOBS.TV. I don't know why. It's crazy what they do here. I think I'm going to go somewhere else and have a cheese sandwich. Yep, this is VOBS. Proven anybody can have a show these days. Wow. This is VOBS? You're listening to VOBS. Minus four, are we at minus four dB? We're at minus four dB on VOBS. Hi, this is Bill Farmer, and you are watching Voice Over Body Shop. Hey, will 2018 be the year you take your voiceover practice to the next level? If not, you can go back to checking your email while this message is airing. I think you might have some leftover pizza somewhere in the in the fridge. So, But if you're serious about dramatically upping your level of success, I want you to go to a very, very special URL. That's VO, the number two, gogo.com forward slash V-O-B-S. That's VO2gogo.com forward slash V-O-B-S. Join the hundreds of VO practitioners around the world who've decided to do something positive and invest in themselves for this new year. Learn voiceover from the ground up or from where you are, from where you want to be. VO2Gogo.com forward slash VOBS. Let's make 2018 your year. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. Just come back to us after that. There we go. There okay. Go. All right. All right. Well, we were at NAM two weeks ago, it almost seems like. I know. And boy, there was... It's an assault on the senses, for starters. <laughs> it totally is. Uh, but we saw so many great products, and we're going to talk about it a little bit later in our wrap-up uh, feature that we did from there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we want people to see all the stuff that's available out there. And again, of course, all of it's designed for making music, which is what NAM is for. And this is not the voiceover music or voiceover merchants show. Yeah, there is no, no voiceover merchant show. No. This is the closest we got. Yeah. So it was fun to see this stuff and then talk to people and say, well, how could a voice actor use this? I know. It was fun throwing them a curveball. Some, some vendor reps really go, were good with it. And then and others go, just were running their script uh, through their head, which is uh, talk about drums, <laughs> talk about guitars, talk about symbols. And they like, yeah. no, no, we're talking about voiceover here. Yeah, exactly. Most of them did a pretty good job. With yeah. It. Well, let's run some of these and let's see uh, all the fun we had and you can come along with us. Yeah, we got one from Neumann U6, about the Neumann U67 that yep. was re-released this year. Yeah, the Apogee mic. Apogee mic. And we also talked with Personas, or you did rather, yep. about their mixers and their new little cute little baby affordable monitors that came out. All right. It. Let's take a look. We're at NAMM 2018 here in the Sennheiser Neumann booth. Yeah. And we're talking with Brian Walker. Nice to see you. 
Thank you. Now, you might be familiar with a TLM-103 or a U87 with a Neumann, but you guys are reintroducing another classic, the U67. Tell us yes. about it. Well, this is a reproduction, not a reproduction, it is the original. Uh, from the uh, U67 that was originally built from 1960 to 1971. And we're bringing it back. It starts shipping in the middle of February. Um, the uh, capsule is the original. The tube is the original. The output transformer is the original. So everything inside this microphone is original to the microphone when it was built. The original specs when yes. it was built and designed. And yeah, because if it if it wasn't truly a U67, we couldn't call it a U67. Our customers would just have all sorts of interesting pieces of vocabulary for us. Right. You didn't like <laughs> ship this out to some some place where they built the stuff cheap and no. try to reduce cost and increase profit. You yeah. Stay true to your to your, your roots is, on this. It is built in our factory in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. What makes this mic so special? This microphone has an amazing sound to it. It's a very um, it really was the microphone of the sixties. Um, not as much of a high-end bump, not as big of an EQ curve as the uh, 87 has. The 87 can be a little bit of a bright microphone. This one's not quite so bright, but it still has that brightness to help your voice cut through the mix. And then that tube and that big fat transformer in it has a big, warm, low-end sound. Right. Tell me a little bit more about what it is. You know, a lot of people like the idea of having a tube in a microphone. What does it do specifically for a Neumann mic as opposed to some of the fake kind of tube stuff that we see out there with red LEDs in them and stuff? Very little. <laughs> Seriously. The, the tube exists inside this microphone as an impedance match between a very, very extremely high impedance um, capsule and a very low impedance output. And the tube is that impedance match. And a lot of people put a lot of weight on the tube in the microphone, but it's actually the output transformer that colors the sound the most. Right. But if a tube goes on one of these things... You're going to know it. You're going you're to know about it. <laughs> you're going to know about yeah. it. What yeah. are some of the other features? Is it multi-pattern? And... It's multi-pattern. Um, it has uh, Omni, Figure 8, and cardioid patterns. It has a 10 dB pad switch you can add in. Always very and nice. And it has a, a low-frequency roll-off. Roll-off. So if you've got a lot of low frequency hum from your air conditioner in your studio, Trucks you can roll by and that yeah, sort of thing. I, you can roll it the, out. The, so this this is really a full featured microphone that, yes. that that does everything you would need to for voiceover. Yes. Okay. What's the price point on one of these? Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, seven seven thousand. Seven thousand is street price. Okay. Yeah, but that's a full kit. Right. That's the microphone, the suspension kit, the power supply. Everything. Very good. And all of the parts in the new kit are interchangeable with all the old parts. So if you have an old microphone, you can plug it into the new power you supply. You can go into the old, the you know, the microphone junkyard and pick yeah. them up, and it'll all still work in there. Yes, that's very nice. Is uh, Neumann going to be coming up with anything else uh, that they're ready to announce, or something coming up in the next couple of years? Or? Not that I know of. Okay. Well, well, although knowing Wolfgang Fresenay, I'm sure that there are a number of things cooking in the back of his head right now, and but he hasn't told me. <laughs> right. Well, this is a legendary mic, and yes. you know, and certainly if. You have a budget for that. This is a great one to have. Brian, thank you so much for talking thank to you. us. Thank you. Enjoy the show. All righty. Hey, it's George from Voice Over Body Shop here at NAMM 2018 again with another innovative and awesome vendor, this time, we're over at the Apogee booth, where they're re-releasing a mic that a lot of you guys already know about, but it's got some important new features, and here to tell us about it is Brad. How you doing, Brad? I'm good, good. Uh, thanks for joining us today. So, the Apogee mic, it's back. It's now called the Plus, is that what it's called? Yeah, we have Mic Plus. So, we've actually had three generations of mic. There was Apogee Mic, the original, Apogee Mic 96K, and now we have Apogee Mic Plus. So, with Mic, you got a very high quality product that you can connect straight to your iPhone or straight to your Mac. 
no setup or fuss required, and you had truly a professional quality channel. Now, I think a lot of USB mics get a bad rap because a lot of them are you know, built for convenience, built for affordability, and that's an important part of it. But for us, we never want to sacrifice quality at the end of the day. Uh, if we build something at Apogee, no matter what price point it's at, you can guarantee professional quality. So what takes this one to the next level? So the mic has a lot of the features that people loved about the original mic, So, but Mic Plus kind of takes a new level. So you have the same shape, you still have iOS connectivity, still have Mac connectivity, we now have PC connectivity. So that's Ooh, great. Windows. Yeah, all the Windows users out there can finally use Apogee products. Uh, but we fixed a big uh, thing that was a challenge for a lot of um, a lot of mic users before, which was on the new iOS devices, as many people know, you don't have a headphone output. So they would look at the mic, they would connect it to their iPad or iPhone and said, okay, well, how do I hear it now? How do I listen to it? Or if I'm you know, overdubbing, how do I hear my other tracks while I'm recording? So what we did was we uh, included a headphone jack at the bottom here. So now you can connect your headphone straight to it. And so you can monitor straight out of that, both your recorded signal and your input signal. So the other weakness on the iPhones and iPads was latency. Um, you know, the processes are getting better and better, but there's still a little bit of latency that could be distracting, especially for singers and, and voiceover artists. Yeah, so if you're monitoring yourself, you'd hear yourself, but a slightly delayed, a little yeah. bit weird. So we now have this great um, direct monitoring feature and uh, specifically what we call our blend feature, uh, meaning you could blend both your recorded signal with your uh, with the input signal from the microphone, thanks to this control here. So you'll see now we have the uh, input metering, which is kind of nice on there. We didn't have the input metering on the original mic, but now we have this great little blend feature, which allows you to control, again, how much of your input signal is blended with your recorded signal. You have your gain wheel on it, similar but a little bit different from the uh, original mic, which was on the side. Uh, but this headphone out, again, just gives you that option for zero latency monitoring. Price-wise, uh, the, the Mic Plus is $249, the Mic 96K was $229, so you know, $20 difference, you have a variety of new features, I think that's pretty worth it. Whenever we do a new product, we never take the same formulas uh, over again, so we always look for ways to make it better. New and improved mic capsule, we have better dynamic range on this, uh, you can really capture a, a wider sort of uh, range of instruments for music recording, but voices also. Um, you don't have to worry about it distorting. It can handle quite a bit more on um, on that front. Uh, the other nice thing is we include now a USB-C cable. So for all the people out there with devices with the USB-C input who are tired of dealing with adapters, we have that cable in the box for you. Hey, there you go. Android compatibility? Android compatibility yet? No, unfortunately not. And and frankly, we, we watch the Android market, and look, we're not opposed to it. Many people think that we're we're sort of, you know, tied to the iPhone, and we're not. We just we we love iOS because there's some real stabilities and real benefits there that make it such a seamless experience. You connect it, it works. You open any app, it continues to work. It's guaranteed. Exactly. If we can get that with Android, believe me, we will absolutely support that platform. The moment we just don't have it yet. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very nice. Well, it's great seeing you here in the flesh, and. Uh, we look forward to testing one on our show because yes. that's what we do. Yes. Thank you so much. Check it out on our website as well. Great. Thanks so much, Brad. Take care. See you guys later. Well, we're here at the Personas booth with Wesley Smith, who's going to show us some really cool stuff that you might find interesting, especially for voiceover, if you like having a mixer. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well. Now, this is the Studio Live AR8 series. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Uh, Studio Live AR8 is a USB-equipped uh, analog mixer, so it's a pure uh, path analog front end. Got a little three-band EQ on each of the uh, channels. Two mono channels. Uh, you also have two stereo channels if you need to come back there. What's really great is when we say Studio Live, it is a live mixer, but it works great in the studio. You have a full 10-channel audio interface built into it, so you can record all, all excuse me, eight channels. You can record all of the channels plus the main mix. You do have the option to record the main mix on inputs one and two of your uh, USB stream if you prefer that. You can return um, 
uh, two stereo streams back into the channels, which makes it great for playback or if you're doing a, a live call. You have uh, Bluetooth pairing if you want to stream in some music. You also have an onboard stereo SD recorder, so if you're in a situation where you need to do some mobile recording, you can do that as right, well. Right, so you could, you could record, send a stream, and have a backup recording exactly. of it. That's, that's exactly. That's a great so. it's a great feature to have, even with the Bluetooth. It goes all the way up to 96K, so you have a very high-end recording. Have a little reverb built into it if you ever need that sort of thing. It does come with a Studio One Artist, so it is a complete uh, mix, a recording solution right out of the box, and uh, it's available now. They're, yeah. they're $299. $299? Mm -hmm. Great. Now, now, there's also some these monitors over here. Yes. I want to take a look at these because okay. these are really special. Let's do it. Now, studio monitors are really important in your home voiceover studio. A lot of people say, hey, those are really expensive. But for a home voiceover studio, Personas has this particular model, which is at a great yeah. price point. Well, when we started out with the Aero Series speakers a few years ago, we wanted to make affordable speakers that were still flat, that weren't scooped out in the mids, that gave you a really uh, true listening experience. So this is the latest uh, version of those. These are the E3.5s. They have a little three and a half inch uh, Kevlar woofer, which makes them great for a small listening environment. You still have a one inch silk dome tweeter, so you're gonna get a lot of that high end and breath. The um, connection features in these are great. You have a, a front facing headphone amplifier that actually bypasses the speakers, so you can switch between listening, oh. uh, live mixing and listening through your headphones. You have your unbalanced RCA inputs, your uh, stereo balanced inputs, plus a little um, high and low shelf filters if you need to balance it out for some reason. And they're very affordable, they're $99, and like less expensive studio monitors, these aren't tuned to be gaming speakers, they're not going to hype up the bass or the high end, they're right. actually very flat. But, yeah. And then, then this is just a satellite to this one. The amplifier for both speakers yeah. is built into. And this how much one. power do they have? It's 45 watts. All right, which is which is pretty it's much all you need. Yep. Well, Wesley, thank you so much. Thank you. It was very nice to meet you. Alrighty. Are you confused about how to set up and maintain a professional quality voiceover studio? No wonder. The information out there is mostly mythology. This is the best microphone to use. You have to have a preamp. You need a soundproof booth. This software is the best. Your audio must be broadcast quality. Consult with someone who knows the truth. Someone who's been there, in the trenches, doing voiceover for over 30 years. Someone with unparalleled experience with voiceover studios who's worked with hundreds of voice actors and designed hundreds of personal studios. He knows how to teach and cares about your success in one of the harshest environments known to voiceover, your home. Dan Leonard, the home studio master. Separate myth from fact and get a handle on your personal voiceover studio. Contact the home studio master at homevoiceoverstudio.com. Drop off a specimen of your dry audio for a free analysis. Wonderful sponsors, Source Elements. They are the creators of Source Connect, a fantastic software for streaming your studio's audio to any other studio in the entire world on the internet. This is a great tool for those using ISDN, accustomed to ISDN, or needing ISDN-like uh, connectivity when ISDN is just completely out of the question, unavailable, too expensive, or just otherwise not feasible for the project. So you should consider Source Connect seriously if you are working with studios that want to record you remotely. It's not like Skype. Skype is just for making phone calls and being directed. This is actual professional audio that you're streaming to the other studio. You sit down, they connect to you, you talk into your microphone, you read your script, and when the session's over, you say goodbye. They do the recording. You just sit there or stand there, do your script. It's the greatest way for a voice actor to get a session done. I definitely recommend that you give it a try. Go to source-elements.com. You can get a 15-day free trial over there. Start playing around with it and, you know, let us know. Let them know if they have questions, if, if you have any questions about it. And, of course, we would appreciate it if you tell them that the guys over at VOBS sent you. We'll be right back here in the studio, our crowded, warm 
womb of a studio <laughs> with Debbie and Dan uh, in just a minute. We'll be right back. It's great. Thanks for joining us once again for another episode of Voice Over Body Shop. VOBS is still on? Seriously? This is John Bailey, the Epic Voice, and you're watching VOBS.TV, Monday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 Newfoundland. Man, there's one show that I can't miss. It's called VOBS. And a lot of people are like, V-O-B-S? What is that? Man, it's BS about V-O. And I love V-O. How much BS is going to be in this show? There's only one way to find out, baby. Hey, guys, this is Tom, also known as the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. And you want to fill your ear holes and your eye holes with Dan and George and the Audio Body Shop. Ah! Meow. Snails like it, too. Before time began, there was V-O-B-S dot TV. What? Hey, you know, Debbie Derryberry is an American voice actress who has provided the voices of a number of animated television series and anime games. Her voice roles include the title character from Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Wednesday in the Addams Family cartoon, and Jackie in Bobby's World. In English language dubs of anime, Derryberry has provided the voice of Ryo Uki, in the Tenchi Mio series. She received a Best Actress in Comedy Award at the American Anime Awards for her work as Zatch in Zatch Bell. She's currently doing F is for Family on Netflix and coaching voice talent on the skills needed in character voice work. And welcome to our show once again, Debbie Derryberry. Thank yeah. you, so Dan. nice to see you. So happy to be here again. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's great having you here every Thank time. Thank you. And we've got your band here tonight, too. We'll yeah, talk about we do. That. We're going to get to hear that. That's going to be lots of fun. Anyway, you've had a fascinating career, and I know more about it than I think most people do. Probably more I, than you want to know. I'm probably more than I want yeah. to know. But, uh, but, you know, people remember you from Jimmy Neutron and stuff, but you're a busy lady, and, you know, you've, you have you got your groove. and you're, I'm you're so doing, busy. That's good. And, you know, like, one of the things you're working on is F is for family. Oh, Tell us yeah. about that. You know what? It is probably one of the best written shows I've ever worked on. It, um, Mike Price and Bill Burr, who's this really funny comedian, and Bill Burr is a, a writer on uh, um, The Simpsons. And the scripts are so funny. But um, I get to be a lot of characters. Laura Dern's my mom, you know, from Star Wars, the Laura Dern, the yeah. Laura Dern. And um, Bill Burr's my dad. And uh, I get to um, Sam Rockwell's in the cast, and Allison Janney's in the cast, and Haley Reinhardt. It's, it's a very wonderful cast. I'm glad to be a part of it. Mo Collins, who is so funny. Um, we pretty much just laugh our butts off all the time, and it's really well written. There's uh, episode uh, season one on Netflix, and that has six episodes. And then season two has ten episodes. And we just finished season three, and that'll be out later this year. I can't say exactly Yeah, because once, once you finish binge-watching, it's like, well, i got to wait a year yeah, before it comes out. So. Um, so hopefully there'll be a, there will be a season four. There's yeah. too many great fans, yeah. and it's so good. And um, Yeah. So you're, you're having a great time doing it, it sounds like. It's, uh, I mean, a, a great cast. And <laughs> is, is oh, it and di- Phil Hendry is on it. Okay. Hello! So, yeah. so different experience for you? Um, yeah, mostly because I play so many characters. I do... Um, like Bill Burr's has Bill Burr has a son named Bill. I play Bill's son's sister, girlfriend, best friend, friend down the street, nurse. Uh, Do you get yeah. paid for each one of those roles? Or um, uh huh. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a really good Netflix show, and I have a couple other shows on Netflix. Uh, uh Buddy Thunderstruck, which was up for a bunch of Annies last night, uh, Saturday night. And um, Glitter Force, which is so fun if you like anime. That is a very high energy. Yeah, one of those ca- shows. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> there's there's also another one. It's called uh, it's called Tigtone. Oh. You forgot there, about it? There is a YouTube video of Tigtone that I just think is funny. I'm just bringing it up so you guys can watch. Tig Tone, and um, we'll see what happens with Tig Tone. But I'm on some other shows I can't 
talk about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. In in case you're wondering. Yeah. There it is, right oh, there. and there's another show on Cartoon Network called what's it called? Vi Victor Valentino. Victor Sounds Val familiar. Something yeah. like that. And um, yeah, I got a couple of uh, Doc McStuffins last seasons and Vampirinas this season, and um, I'm uh, Guild Wars. That's a great video game. If there's any Guild Wars fans, I play Timey, and this season, I don't know why the writers did this. I think they just wanted to see her go down they <laughs> they made me cry yeah. hard yeah they're like locking me in the booth and turn the lights off and making me cry like an on-camera actor it was tough but so fun well at least they weren't filling it with water while you were in there would, would isn't that a scare do you ever have nightmares like that my nightmare is being on stage and going, really? what the heck play oh, am I Oh, right. In? And you forget you go up on your lines. Yeah. And you don't know what play I'm in. You don't know your lines. Yeah. Actors, nightmares. Do you guys ever have those yep. nightmares? Yeah. We have like a whole crew yeah, in here. Like there's everybody's like one, two, three, four, five. There's like 10 people and it's about 400, 400 degrees in here. Yeah. Well, maybe 410. Actors, nightmares. It's like a waiting, a waited tables. Um, if you're an actor, you have to have waited tables. Did you wait tables? I made pizza. You made pizza. <laughs> and so there's this, my, my famous waiting table nightmare is I, I, there's this one room and I got all the orders and I go to my manager. I'm like, I got all the orders. And he said, great, Deb. What about the other room? <laughs> <laughs> Think fast. <laughs> yeah. This oh, is look a, at that. This is a wonderful book. Thank you. There it Thank is right there. Thank you so we much. Get a close-up look at that. It's voiceover 101. Which is going right through the green screen. Look at the purple. It, purple, oh, I'm, purple. Purple. I'm in a purple mode this year. Yeah. Tell us about this. Okay. I started teaching voiceover, Dan, as um, as you know. Um, I don't know how it happened, but people started coming to me wanting me to talk to their kids about it or do a little workshop about it. And started about seven years ago, and I started coaching, and I started having a beginning animation voiceover class, and then more people wanted it. So... I kind of have this regular beginning animation class, and then they wanted more, so I do an advanced animation class. And I usually have a, a guest from the industry there. And um, so many questions to answer at conventions. How do I become a voice artist? And, <laughs> and it's, it's not an easy answer, so I wrote... Voice over 101. Voice over 101. How to succeed as a voice actress. And um, hopefully it'll help some people um, know the ins and outs of it. And the best thing I like about it is that I put some videos in there, and they has these QR codes. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little password yeah, with of the, the QR, QR code, codes. Yeah. And um, it's hard to teach someone how to bark like a dog. You can't do it with words, you know? Right. Well, you take the tongue, and you put it on your upper left mm -hmm. palate, and you act like you're going to fart, and then, you know. <laughs> yeah. Either you know how to do it, or it just comes natural, but, you know. But um, you can get it on uh, Amazon. It's You can get it Kindle or a hard copy if you want me to sign it, just... Send it to the address on my website. I'll be happy to send it, sign it, and send it back. Just you know, send me one of those self-addressed stamp stamped envelopes. Self-addressed stamped envelopes. Thank you. Um, great book. I, Thank I read you. through it, and and it and it's fascinating for people that are thinking about getting an animation. Yeah. Because it's big. I mean, especially with video games and stuff now. Yeah. There's always that question: Do you have to be here in LA? Because it's a really good question. Yeah, because there's the, it's to me it seems like, well, there's the circle of people amongst whom you travel uh, that yeah. we know. There's it's a small cadre of people that are doing the majority of the work. How yeah. can someone break into that? Okay. With a hammer, I would imagine. Yes, <laughs> a, a, more like a I don't know forklift, a truck. A, a, um, <clears throat> within animation, I think everybody. Uh, assumes there is an open door. I would like to be a Disney princess. Yes, so would I. But I'm not an A-list on-camera celebrity. So we settle for what us working-class voice actors settle for, which is the supporting roles or, you know, starring roles in a, maybe a smaller show. Or, <clears throat> um, I don't know, there's, we're just like rank-and-file actors. So for West Coast, like, animation, you know, what you see on Nick or Disney or... Uh, the things that are recorded here, which is pretty much everything, um, you have to be here. That being said, there are uh, anime shows, dubbing, video games, uh, mocap that is done elsewhere. But I wouldn't expect anyone to ever really be able to make a living at it because the places where it's big, um, 
uh, Atlanta, Austin, these are free right to work states, which mean you're not going to get those those big residuals that you think, oh, actors make so much money. Well, <laughs> we don't. It is, I will tell you, it's a lot of hard work and it's great fun and it's hard work. I mean, I work all day every day, but I still pick up my dog's poo and take my kid to school and make my own bed. <laughs> it is hard work and I love it so much, but you do have to live in LA for the Doc McStuffins, for the Vampirinas, for the big video games. Um, to say I'm going to come to L.A. and try it for a couple weeks. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, really work that way that because um, there is something called the business of acting. Like any um, career, whether you're a realtor, a lawyer, a, a, a anything that requires that you, you farm your services out, that people know who you are, it requires time to establish who you are, to meet the right people, to meet the Dan Leonards and the George Widdoms and the Jack Daniels and the big agents and the Andrew Russells and the Brenna, you know, Larson, these kind of people. you got to meet them. Yeah. Wow. We're in, we're in good company. Right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you, you do need to be here and you do need to know that it's not a, I went to L.A. and got famous in a week kind of thing. It doesn't really work that way. No. It happens occasionally you know someone just happens to come right and they they luck out and and here's the the key thing it's it's this little part that says how to succeed as a voice voice actor actor Actor. it's an acting job it's not oh hi deb i people say i can sound like jimmy neutron i think i'll try voiceover well i'm not dead yet (laughs) and either is bart simpson um either is tommy pickles so we're kind of still here. So go find your own voice. <laughs> and you have to be able to create a carrier, character. There is a market for impersonators. But that is not what I do. But there are people who do it and make a great living at it. But it's it's something that I, I have no knowledge of that industry. But it exists. So don't confuse the two. Because those characters exist already. Somebody made those up. And you can mimic them. Great. But to create your own character, stay in that character, um, go through different emotions in that character, that's an acting job. Yeah. Where do, uh, where, where do you find a character? I mean, I, I take it's like you draw from what you know. And, and, and that's a really met. great way. I mean, I call that channeling. So that's one way of finding a character is channeling. You know, um, maybe there's that lady who works at Starbucks. Oh, I met that lady at the library. Or my grandma. How does she sound? How does my second grade teacher sound? You know, you find these people that you can just do. I, everybody, you know, if you if your parent lives in a foreign country and you pick up the phone and you talk with them, I know people whose moms live in, you know, the deep south, and they sound like me when they start the conversation. But by the time they finish the conversation, they're like, okay, mama, I'll talk to you later. All right, I love you too. Okay, bye. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they are their mom, right? You know people. That happens to you, doesn't it? Oh, well, every time I would go into a Jewish old folks home, I'd always right? come out talking like this. <laughs> Right? It's so, just the way it would work. That's your go-to old Jewish person's right. uh, character. And that can work for man or woman, right? Because by the time you're ancient, and that's, that's what they right. call... They, they sound call, like my Bobby. Yeah. That's Bobby <laughs> sound like Grandpa Sadie's at that age, right? right. Ay, ay. They say, ay, ay, ay. No, they say, oi, 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 oi. Exactly. So that is one way of channeling. Another way I find characters is technically. So say, where does it live? Does it live here? Uh, uh, or here, uh, uh, or does it live here, uh, uh, or here, ah, ah, where does it live? And so then you can add an accent to it. It's one of these little exercises that I have in my book, Voice Over 101. <laughs> and um, so, for instance, let me get a drink of beverage here. Okay. One second. She's been going at it for a little bit here. <laughs> we're talking with Debbie Derryberry, in case you're wondering. Uh, we're going to be ta- we're going to be hearing Honey Pig, her band, just a little bit as well. Um, I was going to tell him one other thing. Go for it. Thanks. You're on. Okay. Now that you've hydrated. I did. So um, one example I like to use is if I'm if I'm doing my teenage voice. This pretty much is where teenagers live, and um, say this teenager, the picture I get has. Braces. So there's a teenager with braces. Or maybe this teenager with braces is from the South. So here's my teenager with braces from the South. And maybe she is ugly, mean, you know, nasty. So 
Here she is, braces in from the south, and she's kind of mean. So you can layer all those things on any placement and age and accent, and you get these characters, and then you name them. And when you name them, they become someone. You ought to see my Dan Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> really? After the break. <laughs> I'm not an impersonator. We've been through that. That's right. That's right. Now, you also have a new studio. Tell us about it. All right, I will. And if after I'm done telling you, you want to see about it, you can go to my YouTube station. Is that right? how you say it? Channel. YouTube channel, channel on the playlist. Right here, you can watch me making it because I, el I enlisted all the best people in the world. George Widom came over. And he told me what I needed to do. Then Dan Leonard came over and he did his like ear thing and this needs to go there. He sniff around. Go. Yeah. He sniffed and he found the errant corners and he shot them with foam. And then I had um, Willem, Willem Reitfield came over. The door guy. The door guy. He hung my door and put up these wall things with the corners and the fabric. And then um, I had... Carson Beck, he came too, and he taught me how to use Adobe Audition so I could multitrack. There's so many steps. They made it look so easy on those other darn YouTube channels. Yeah. That I, and George made it look so easy. I'm like, I can do this. Yeah. I could have bought a car. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And, and it's purple. As I recall, it was like, how much are you willing to do yourself on this? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. You're like, how much? La this sounds like a, a self-labor of love. I mean, the plenum alone. Yeah, that was that was so it, fun. It, there's there's still there's still a hole in my hand. From yeah, when I, I heard Dan screaming outside, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, Dan, Blood all over did you backyard. play with a power tool again? No, <laughs> no, never let Dan Leonard play with a power tool. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, it's it's it, there's an old joke. How do you kill a Jewish guy? Just give him power tools. <laughs> not not one of my well, not one of my better things. But you're happy with it, and it's sounding great. Yeah. and uh, and know. I go in there, I turn off the lights sometimes, and take a little nap. It smells new, and it's purple, and it's pretty, and it's small, but, you know, I realized you don't really need a big studio. And now I have a monitor in there, and um, I can just lock myself in and do everything in there. And I'm learning stuff. So if you're um, not 21, I just want you to know it's possible. You can do it. I did. All right. Well, again, we're talking with Debbie Derryberry, and... Uh, oh, yeah. can they follow me on my things? Go for it. Okay. So, um... They're going to put this little link under here that's going to say the spelling of my name, Debbie Derryberry, which is D-E-B-I, D-E-R-R-Y, B-E-R-R-Y. What? How do you spell that? There it like is. Like that. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter and, you know, my YouTube channel and Snapchat and my Facebook voiceover page and stuff. And God, I love you all. You're busy. I am busy. That's good. Busy yeah. is good. Is it? It is. Is it? It's better than sitting on your tuchus. It, you it know, kind of, that sounds so attractive, though, you know? know. <laughs> like, just sitting and resting and doing nothing. Like, I talked to someone, I'm like, what did you do today? Went to the store. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I did that between this and that and this and that and this and that. Right. I mean, there's so much to do. There is. And it's this is a great busy. city to do it in, too. And there's just, it's great doing the auditions and yeah. getting out there and, and working. Which and is it a takes lot a long time to get to studios when you book stuff. So that's why I live where I live and you live. We live in this North Hollywood, Van Nuys, Burbank area, which means you don't really have to get on the freeway, which is what you want. Stay on the surface roads. Yeah, and if you date somebody, really, seven miles is as far as you want to go. It takes an hour to go uh, anywhere. Eight miles, an hour. Twelve miles, hour and a half. So just, you know, our little town is our little town. Yeah. Our little town. Isn't a song? Something like that. Something okay. like that. It wasn't about L.A., though. <laughs> Ten <laughs> no. million people living here. Anyway, tell, tell us about your band, and then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to hear your band. Okay, well, it's a um, kind of a revival of a band I had a long time ago called Honey Pig. And um, it's three of us girls, Debbie and Nina and Brenna. But Nina is, she's in Cabo. She so, just happened to have taken a break right yeah. now. So Brenna's husband, who is an amazing singer, stands in for one of the girls when they're not here because both Brenna and Nina are all like Peppa Piggin all over the world and, you know, singing and doing fancy concerts because they're amazing singers. But tonight we have Brenna and Andrew.
And we're going to sing you a couple originals and maybe a non-original. It's kind of like country, Andrew's sisters. And you'll be like, oh, I haven't heard those songs before because they used to be really popular. Back, yeah, you're going to hear us. Back, back in the day. Shut when up. These Shut things. up. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so stay tuned. We're going to show you more stuff from Nam. We've got more to show you. And when we come back, you're going to get a live concert here on Voice Over Body Show. Hey, let me, do you think I can do Source Connect from my new studio booth? George? Oh, George? Heck, absolutely. What kind of like connection do I need? Because I have an HDMI, is that what you call it? And a USB and electricity. Electricity. <laughs> That'll That's do it. Yeah. Electricity? As long as you got a headphone and a microphone in your booth, you I got am what you need. I'm with gas. Okay. Yes, Thanks. you do. Okay. Yeah, it's no, it's no, if you got a computer, it's no problem. It's, it's, it's something like that, just like, it, you don't need the box, you don't need that. You just press, you know, you click something and suddenly you're talking to the other guy. Okay. Like George was just talking about a few minutes ago. That is darn exciting. It is. <laughs> and we'll show you how to do it. And we'll show you all sorts of other cool stuff in just a minute. Skittles, taste the rainbow. She has fought for those who don't have a voice. The National Zoo. <laughs> because sometimes you just need to stroke a llama. Instagram. Download it and start embarrassing your teenagers today. Resolve spot and stay. Because the dog's gonna drag his butt on the carpet. He just is. $400 million. That's what the mayor wants you to pay for a new basketball stadium. Chickens were made to be fried. Sorry, buddy. KFC. Engage the droid army with this Lego Star Wars Republic fighter tank. <laughs> what? You've never seen a girl kill a troll? GameStop. Hey, I'm the cat meme guy. Come on, you know you love cat memes. Instagram, what's your thing? Hi, it's J. Michael Collins, and these are just a few examples of the first-class demos my team and I are producing. If you'd like to have something similar, visit jmcvoiceover.com and click on the Demo Production tab to find out more. All righty. Well, Harlan Hogan uh, wrote to me today, and he said, one of my all-time favorite voice persons is on tonight, and that's Debbie Derryberry. She's Hi. very talented. But smart and pragmatic. For example, she really understands the business of the business, as we were just talking. Debbie uses a Porta Booth Plus on the road. The fact that the Plus is in its travel case re qualifies it as real carry on with every major airline. Today, the airlines don't allow a length and girth calculation as, as to what you're allowed to carry on. Your carry on bag either fits the bag size or at the airport, or it doesn't. To paraphrase Johnny Cochran, if it doesn't fit, you must check it. <laughs> now, our ripoff pals, Carry On Vocal Booth is totally not Carry On qualified, and yet he had the gall to demand we not use the term Carry On. Total nonsense and a total lie. Maybe this is why he's renamed the knockoff Vomo. And I'm laughing that he's added an audio hood. And that's what Harlan told me today. Okay. So if you want one of these, what you got to do is you got to go over to voiceoveressentials.com. That's the place, voiceoveressentials.com, because Harlan Hogan has everything you could possibly need for doing voiceover in your home studio. Or not in your home studio if you have your Porta Booth Plus. You know what my favorite thing about this is? What is that? Well, one of the things is the video where it shows you how to set it up. The jazz music, da 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 da. <laughs> it's like the best music. I could just play the video just so I could dance to the music. But the other great thing about this is, if you're my height, get it off your <laughs> neck. And you're four ten. You know how your feet don't reach the ground. Okay, this you put on the ground like this, and you put your feet on it because then they don't dangle like you know a little kid. And then the other thing is, it has these pockets right here, right? See it? And over you here. You can put your iPad there and your microphone here. And then I travel with it like this. You zip it up. And Fits it's right all under the contained. Seat. And yeah. then it has places for your cords to go in. And you're totally self-contained with your studio. And it's really easy to set up. Can I just show them? Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Uh, it's, I'm it's, so good at just pull okay. that. All right. Okay, watch. Two people it gets done much faster. It's super easy, you guys. You would like it. It has a little clippy thing. And then you open it. And then I'll just show them quickly. Okay, okay, hold that. I'll hold that. Okay, so it has Velcro, and you just attach the Velcro. I'm doing it down below the camera, but then it becomes the square, right? And then this has a zipper on it, and you zip it on the back like this. And then the zipper unzips, and you stick your boom through it like this, and then your microphone sits on it, and it's like a dead box. Like when you're in it, you're going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and it's so dead. I love traveling with this thing. And sometimes when my microphone isn't working or my booth is out of order, I just want to go 
to my friend's house and record. It's a great thing. And your feet sit on it there. How's that, Harlan? All right. <laughs> Pay up, buddy. Yeah, really. <laughs> so, if you want to, if you need a porta booth, if you need a porta booth plus or any one of those fine products of VoiceOver Essentials, just go, go on over there. Go right down to the bottom of our page, and there's a picture of Harlan talking into one of his porta booths. It'll take you right there, and you'll see all the other great stuff. That and hear the fun music. Da 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 da. All right. Thanks, Harlan. You've been a real pro with this, and we really appreciate it. It's a mass of humanity here at yeah. NAMM 2018 here in Anaheim. We had a really good time this year. Oh, we sure did. We had a great crew, a great team. You know, it's just we've covered so much in so little time. We got to spell each other, and we just saw a ton of great stuff in a short amount of time. Yeah, lots of unique stuff, too, things that you might not normally see, and you'll, you'll get a chance to see all those videos. Uh, but we met some interesting people, saw some stuff that perhaps nobody would have thought about before or even knew about. So it was great to uh, to meet some of these people and see products that perhaps were not familiar to the American market. Uh, some acoustic stuff, some uh, some studio monitors and interfaces, things like that. So a lot of interesting stuff. What was the big surprise of, of what we've seen that stood out to you? Um, well, th there was the thing we started off with today, the... Um, the, the Spire. The Spire. Spire. You, the you know, little multi-channel interface. Not that it would have a, a whole lot of uh, utility for voice actors, but but we did get to see the mixer face finally and see the functionality on it. That was the big surprise for me because yeah. we've seen prototypes of it over the last few years and it looked totally different. So yeah. seeing it today, it had a different form factor, different control. It was totally different. Yeah. I mean, he completely went back to the drawing board, revamped it, and he's ramping it up for production now so. stuffed an awful lot into a thing smaller than a pack of cigarettes pretty it, maybe uh, pretty remember impressive. what those look like if he releases it for anything close to what he says he may charge for it we can't say yet because it's not official it's gonna be a pretty darn good deal yeah and also uh, the acoustic panels that we saw with ron yeah. knight i'd never heard of them before but the stuff was very aesthetically pleasing which yeah. a lot of our clients are really appreciative of it was aesthetically pleasing and it had functions and design that were kind of unique to us and again at a price point that was surprising as well yeah and and yesterday we saw a lot of great stuff as well you know, we i finally got to be inside a studio bricks right after seeing video of it and hearing mm -hmm. lots of people talk about it and it is indeed as good as uh, they say it is absolutely absolutely yeah. what about you what was your highlight well, that Universal Audio booth was pretty darn cool. You yeah. got to go into a Western scene, and it looks like you're inside a saloon. And you got to do a classic shootout of analog to versus digital processing. And Not see as what easy you as it seemed. How did you do? Universal Audio is pretty good at duplicating analog gear. Yeah. I got three out of the four, actually. Um, one of them I was a total, total guess. Yeah. The base on the LA2 yeah, yeah, was a hard one. Total guess. The others had subtle things, but yeah. how did you do? They said I got one out of four, but I know I got two out of four because the guy who was with me got two out of four, and, and we you both put down the same score. things. <laughs> so, I don't yeah, know. it was pretty fascinating. Yeah. Again, all of the stuff that we, we use in voiceover primarily is designed for creating music, which is what NAM is really all about. This is yeah. a, a musical in, a instrument and, and, and electronic manufacturers that make this stuff. Uh, well, Smash Mouse, for example, when he first came up with the idea, we saw him here a year ago, the Smash Mouse founder, and his product was squarely for musicians. Obviously, it's what he was thinking. Right. But when we came to him, and I, I saw him last year and said, hey, this would be great for voice actors in a booth that want to control their software with their foot right. and be hands-free. He was like, oh, that's interesting. Well, here he is this year with a prototype, and he's saying he's getting all this interest from the voiceover community he didn't expect. Yeah. So it was great to see that thing coming along, and we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely get one of those to try out in, in a voiceover booth and see how utilitarian, how helpful it is. Yeah, really. I mean, because I'm always in my booth, and I'm far away from the computer. I usually have a mouse or something. But yeah, to have a Bluetooth mouse on the floor just, that you can just, just go, operate, yeah. roll back, punch in, whatever it is, yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Um, you know, And there were a couple of microphones that were sort of voiceover specific, like the the uh, the Bach uh, 195, U-195. Oh, yeah. Uh, beautiful microphone, uh, and a lot of stuff at really good price points. 
which yes. we know is important to you. Yeah, absolutely. So I'd say all in all, this was a very successful venture heading out here to Anaheim for two days. It was totally worth the effort. A lot of driving, a lot of waiting in traffic, a lot of crowds, waiting for, you know, everything here is a wait, but I think it was worth it. I hope you guys found it to be worth it too. All right. Well, look for all the videos. We'll be having them posted online on Facebook and on our website and stuff. So thanks for joining us here at NAM 2018. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And we're from VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. Thank you. All right. Woohoo! It's never been done before. A live concert on VOBS. Woohoo! Hopefully the first of many. Here is Debbie Derryberry and Honey Pig. Honey Pig. Thank you so much for having us. Gonna do a few originals for you. This is uh, So My Man. <laughs> so My Man, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> So my man, he loved me for who I am When no one gives a damn You have a lifetime plan You hold me in your hand You took my heart and ran I am your biggest fan And you are so my man I can't stop thinking about your face Stop it from filling up my mind I want forever inside your embrace And tell the whole world that you're mine Oh my, my, you are so my man You love me for who I am When no one gives a damn You have a lifetime plan You hold me in your my heart and ran I am your biggest fan And you are so my man Color me red, yellow, purple, or blue Color me green or in gray It doesn't matter Cause you see right through me And nobody's asking so my man you love me for who i am when no one gives a damn you have a lifetime plan you hold me in your hand you took my heart and ran i am your biggest fan and you are so my man you are so my man you love me for who i am when no one gives a damn You have a lifetime plan You hold me in your hand You took my heart and ran I am your biggest fan And you are so my, so my, so my, so my, so my, so my man Thank you so much you guys <laughs> you know how when um, you break up with someone and they don't know and they're clueless and <laughs> that's kind of sad and mean but yeah. this song is called Clueless You <laughs> It's about a sheep I know I gotta I know I gotta I know I gotta gotta I don't wanna I'm disillusioned by the confusion I gotta think about what I'll be losing It's so hard to let you go Clueless you the last to know But a spark never lit from your embers glow Clueless you the last to know I know I gotta, I know I gotta, I know I gotta, gotta, I don't wanna My intuition says this decision could complicate my delicate condition But it's so hard to let you go
meant for me. To invitations has been a lack of my infatuation. It's so hard to let you go. Clueless, you the last to know, but a spark never lit from your embers glow. Slower one. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. I love you so much. Got to have you. Gonna be apart, stay exactly as we are. Never thought that I would get to see the fairy tale come true. But there's magic in most every moment. Exactly as we are You know, we we have a little bit of time here. Care to answer a couple of questions from I our do. I voluminous would love that. audience? Ah, oh, sure, guys. All right. Okay. Fred North asks. Says, how do you not go nuts keeping all of those characters straight while recording an episode? Well, 
first of all, let me say we are all crazy to start with. Well, so that? that yeah. makes it easier. I name them. I name them, and um, often if it's too hard to get to that character, I'll just run one character from start to finish and then pop to the other. But sometimes I just, for fun, let me fight with myself. It, you know, I screw up a lot. Okay. <laughs> it's fun, though. I, I'm sure. Well, that's it's recorded. Like, try it again. <laughs> Good question, Fred. Thank you. Yes. Paul Stefano asks, are casting directors looking for more real kids for animation these days? I I hope you're thinking, I hope not. Versus <laughs> adults playing kids? I will say this. Um, there are series where they really want the little kids to do them, and then after a few seasons when they have to keep recasting, then they'll finally come around to their senses and cast us grown-ups who don't hit puberty. Um, <laughs> what I hope is that um, they'll just keep casting grown-ups like me for kids. Um but there are shows where they only let kids auditions. So it's both. Okay. It's both. Yes, and now we get to experience something totally Los Angeles. Helicopter, Helicopter going by. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Hopefully you can all hear this. Shelly Avellino, the lovely Chevy, Shelly Avellino says, do you think this genre is opening up to remote talent more? Or do you think it's just a, a trend that will pass? <laughs> do I think it's opening up to remote talent? No. Um, not animation anyways. Get down! Get down! I think definitely um, commercial, possibly promo, uh, possibly narration. Yes, narration. But animation, they kind of want you here. I mean, unless you're Justin Long, who's also on F is for Family. I forgot to mention him. You know, if it's someone that you can't get in the booth and you have to have them, they'll record you remotely. But don't count on it. Great. If you're a rank and filer. Yeah. Dad, thanks so much for being Thank here. You, it was Dad. great having you. It was great fun. Oh, we have a concert. All right. Thanks, you guys. We'll be right back to say goodbye Brenna right after this. Yay. Oh, yay. Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques, and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. And we're back. That was different. Wow, that was different. <laughs> we can do that. I guess first of time ever. <laughs> right. And it worked almost flawlessly. Technology is amazing that we can do this kind of stuff. Yeah. And you only see it here on VoiceOver Body Shop. Anyway, uh, coming up next week on this very show, mm -hmm. we'll have Tim Tippett's. All right. Tim Tippett's is another home studio guy. There's more out there. There's and just a handful. Stuff. Maybe just a couple of guys. So we're, yeah. we want to get the other guys that we know in here talking about it. So he'll be here next week. Uh, February 19th, mom, Tracy Lindley, will be here. She's got a lot of <laughs> she kids. She my mom? No, well, I call her that because she's got like five kids or oh, something okay. like that. So but, they call her mom. Right. So she's home and she has a great course on how to use LinkedIn for proper marketing for voiceover. Very good. Don't want to miss that. My uh, buddy and client, Roger Rose, that was my get. Thank you very much. Good job. Yeah, no, he's going to be in here, and uh, he's getting him to stop talking will be the hardest thing. Okay, well. He we'll, has so many incredibly great stories, and they daisy chain on to the next. He's, okay. He's well, been we'll in just the biz go, a long time. Go. Roger is fantastic. Don't we'll want to miss him. that. Uh, then March 5th, we'll both be back from VO Atlanta, which mm -hmm. should be amazing, because everybody's going to be there. I mean, Everybody's going to be there, including <laughs> us. Uh, but we have Carlos Alazraki is coming. Did I say very, that right? Very nicely done, Thank you. Sir. I've been practicing for two weeks <laughs> to get that name right. I'll are probably have a good have, but, well, Are we still going to have voices after VO Atlanta, do you think? Um, <laughs> probably not. And then uh, March 26th, Dr. Gupta, oh, yeah. the rhino otolaryngologist to the stars. 
Very nice. Uh, so that's we're great. That's a great lineup coming up over the next couple of months. So uh, thanks mm-hmm. for uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's see. You, you know, there's other things you need to know. We need to thank our donors of the week. We do. That's important. We do. We've got some very regular donors that donate to the show, like almost every week, sometimes every month. Tracy and H. Reynolds, Andrew Kaufman. You guys have heard these names over and over. Eric Aragoni. He pretty much gets every single episode a donation. Tracy Lindley's actually going to be a guest as well, which is really cool. Um, these are some of our regular donors that we get every single month. They can, and you, if you want to just donate a buck a month, you can do that. Just click on the subscribe or donation button, actually. And once you click that, you can either subscribe or just make a one time little boost to the show call it a tip whatever you want i I appreciate that yeah yeah we appreciate that and it's going to help increase the technology that we have that we can do stuff like concerts that's right you wouldn't think that we would do that but we did it that was one of that's the first time ever it wasn't perfect the next time it's gonna be better okay and it sounded great though i it was really awesome and i built that microphone by the way yeah that's right that was the mic you built (laughs) mikeparts.com mikeparts.com nice uh let's see here uh we also have to tell everybody about what we do because Mm -hmm. we help you with your home studios if you want to talk to george what do you do (laughs) i'm over at georgethetech.com where you can order you can hire me by the half hour or the hour you can do flat rate services like stacks and racks you can have me design an entire studio, do studio maintenance, whatever you need. That's where you go and find me on the web. All right. And if you yeah. need to get a hold of me, because I seem to be the, the plumber in the valley here. Somebody's somebody's got a problem with their studio, or you really want to start from you're starting from scratch, you really don't know how do I start? Write to me, Dan at DanLeonard.com, or go over to homevoiceoverstudio.com and click on the contact me button, and you'll find me and I will respond very rapidly because that's what we do. Nicely done. All righty. Uh, we have a podcast of the show too. That's right. If you like listening instead of watching, if this show is just too long or you're commuting, you could be, you could be listening to this as a podcast instead. You can find it on Stitcher, iTunes, just type in VOBS into your podcatcher. And if you are listening on podcast and you sometime want to see actually what goes on around here, tonight was a very <laughs> good one to chaos, tune into. But yeah. You should come back and watch this show particularly. Uh, we are on YouTube and we are on video. Uh, we're on VOBS.TV, YouTube, and Facebook. So right. find us over there. Facebook, we're a voiceover body shop. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. And if you've got uh, if you've got show logs, you know, we, we have those. Jack DeGoli is still writing down everything we say. It's true, he is. And he has a, a nice uh, time-coded version of everything we talked about on the show. So that usually accompanies the YouTube video when that gets posted. It sure does. All right. And let's see. Oh. Show us your booths. That's right. We love booths. to have your pictures of your booths because we're going to start making more use of them. As you can see, there's a beautiful studio be- behind us tonight. Look at this. But wouldn't it be more fun if, if it, it was your studio? Your studio. It could be. If you take, could take us a nice picture of your studio, the widest lens you possibly can, and uh, send it in, we might use it on the show for a backdrop. Cool. All right. And if you want to be in our studio, like the 10,000 people that showed up tonight. It was amazing. Yeah. Just write to us at the guys at VOBS.TV. And uh, that's where you send the pictures. That's where you send your request to be here. So guys like Pat and all these other people that just suddenly showed up. I don't know who they are. Out of the woodwork. And they just came out and wanted to watch the show because they knew it was going to be a great show tonight. Yeah. Uh, we need to thank our amazing sponsors. Harlan Hogan's VoiceOver Essentials. VoiceOver Extra. Uh, source Elements, uh, VO to go go, VoiceActorWebsites.com, and J. Michael Collins Demos for providing an uninterrupted live stream and bandwidth. All right. And we need to thank Marcy, even though she's in Florida. Aww. I have to go for 48 hours to Florida to set up my mother in law's stuff. Holy smokes. Flying out Thursday morning, coming back Saturday afternoon. <laughs> oh, it's a long Stay story. healthy, my friend. I will. I, Stay I, I, I'm sick all week. Now I feel great. Wear a mask. Okay, yes. We need to, to thank our producer, Catherine Curridan, for getting us this huge list of people. She that is are working be, overtime. She is. Got to appreciate that. Thanks, uh, Catherine. Jack uh, Daniel on chat room duty and floor, floor duty producer. today. He was, yeah. he was really hustling tonight. What a guy. And our technical director, Sue Merlino, who's doing just a bang up yeah. job. Yes, she is. Getting it done. And Jack Goley for the show notes. And of course, Lee Penny, simply for being Lee Penny. Hey, kids, you know, it's a, it's a tough business. And Deb was telling us about it tonight. You got to work hard, it's hard work. And you got to know what you're doing. So mm-hmm. we're here to help you with all the information that's going to make it easier for you. 
So tune in here every Monday night and you'll have a great time like we do. It's like our Monday night poker game. <laughs> it's great having you here. Anyway, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. BS. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next Monday night. Bye-bye.